Let's take a look at dimensions. So on the left hand side we've got a rectangle, now this is a 2D shape, that means it has two dimensions. It has a length and it has a width. And from these dimensions we can work out the area and we can also work out the perimeter. The area is going to be these two dimensions multiplied together and the perimeter is going to be the all of the dimensions including the opposite sides added together as well. On the right hand side we have a three dimensional shape and this is a cuboid. Uh, sometimes when 3D shapes are drawn you have these dotted lines just to give it more of a, a 3D feel. It's not the, the best uh, set of lines I've drawn in there. Um, and it's a 3D shape because it has three dimensions. It has length, it has width and it also has height. And uh, from these three dimensions on a cuboid we can work out the volume by multiplying them together. We can also work out the surface area which would be the area of the rectangular front and back plus the rectangular sides and the rectangular top and base all, all added together. Here are some 3D shapes you need to recognize. Uh, we've got two pyramids here. Uh, this pyramid has a triangular base, so the base there is a triangle whereas this one is a square. A triangular base pyramid has a base and then three triangles, so one, two and a third hidden around the back, whereas a square base pyramid has four triangles, one, two, three and a fourth round the back. Um, a cube is basically a three-dimensional square whereas a cuboid is a three-dimensional rectangle. Uh, with a cube the length, the width and the height are the same so if you're only given the length then we know the width is also 16 and the height is also 16 and again we can work out the volume by multiplying 16 by 16 by 16 and for a cuboid Again, as I said, it's a three-dimensional rectangle. So we've got a rectangular front. So if it's 10 by four and it's got a depth of five, then the volume is 10 times four times five. Some other 3D shapes, well, these are prisms. So a prism is a three-dimensional shape where the, the face of it is consistent all the way through. So here is a triangular prism. So it maintains its triangular shape all the way to the end, um, a bit like a Toblerone kind of I suppose, well the Toblerone box rather than the chocolate itself. So this is a triangular prism, it's a three-dimensional triangle. Now a three-dimensional shape with a circular uh, face is a cylinder. Here we've got a cone which is a circular base which goes into a, a little point, I suppose a bit like a witch's hat. And here we have a sphere.